What's going on, Novi? Welcome back to Cultureverse. I think this is episode six of season two for year two. Today, we're going to be talking about a few different things. I'm back with our, our permanent co-host, Caleb. Hello. So, yeah, I think we should just kind of get right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is the kingdom of the plane of the apes. You want to start off with what do you think? Yeah, sure. Have you seen the trailer? You saw the trailer? Yeah, I saw the trailer. Okay, what do you think? Uh, it should be good. I mean, they've already had, what, three movies? Mm-hmm. So every time they have, uh, like, series where there's four movies, it's always kind of odd yeah. to add that fourth movie. But, I mean, it should be good. I saw the first two, and I really like them. So Yeah, the so I'm kind of, like, iffy on it, mainly because... First of all, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, like before the fourth one was yeah. added, like it was a trilogy, one of the greatest that I've ever seen. Like it was one of my favorites. Um, Dawn was my favorite. The second one, the first mm-hmm. one's really good. Yeah. The third one was was pretty solid. Uh, I know you haven't seen it, but like the third one's pretty solid. And I'm pretty sure they said this one takes place like 300 years after. Oh, yeah. So no Caesar. No Caesar. I mean, he died. Oh, yeah. you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, he died in the third one at the end. Anywho. Oh, that ruined my day. (laughs) Anywho, so basically, I am looking at the trailer, and it just, I know it's 300 years after, so it obviously would stray away from what, like, the the three before were. Yeah. But I don't know. The fact that they talk so clearly throws me off now. Like, I like the fact that, like, they weren't talking as much and mainly like the sign language and all these things. But now that they're fully talking, I'm like, oh, man. And I don't know if the CGI is better or not. Because, like, the yeah. dude with the crown that's like, what a wonderful day. Like, his, like yeah. it just it just seemed kind of off. I don't know. I'm obviously still watch it because I really do like these, um, I guess, franchise now. And because the ones that were made whenever, like the very old Planet of the Apes movies, they they were a lot. So, I mean, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibilities to have a lot of these as well. Yeah. So it's, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of iffy on, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna, I'm going into it, not with low expectations, but just like, you know, I'm, I'm assuming it won't be like as good, but Uh, it might be good. I would go into it with, pretty low expectations because it always happens with like these movies where they it seems like they just add on another one just to have another one Mm -hmm. and I don't really know what story they're trying to tell Mm -hmm. because like there's none none of the same like characters or anything and they're starting basically completely new Mm -hmm. with a new concept so it's just it's going to be kind of weird to see where it goes and it's going to have to pick itself up and it can't ride off the other movies. So I, I'm probably going to go in with low expectations. I, I mean, that's a fair point. I 100% like think that's valid. I just, I don't know. I want to grain of salt. You know what I mean? I take it with grain of salt because you're right. They're, they're basically starting over without starting over like, and it's like they said they're like continuing Caesar's legacy. So I'm assuming one of them is like an, a descendant yeah, of, of Caesar. Like y- you could assume they're obviously going to throw that in there. Yeah. And it's what I can say, though, is it's a very interesting concept that the they're kind of going back in time. Like the like the the apes are t- they take over. They took it over, taking over. Mm-hmm. And the humans are like back to like primitive times, so like they have spears, you know. They like they got the like primitive gear, like wear, like primitive wear on. And I don't. I hope they explain how that happens because obviously, like they're passing city ruins and all these yeah. things. So like I, I really like that concept. That that concept is really cool to me. Uh, so you know, it's 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 cool. You know, I think it's pretty cool. It's it's a all right concept. Mm-hmm. to go off of it's just extending it beyond what i think it should be i, yeah, I, no, think, I agree i think that i think that a lot of studios and stuff just need to learn when to let it go yeah but they want money 
and they get they got money with the with the other yeah other they're, thing. they're they're getting it i mean that i mean same thing could quite literally be said for the joker movie like that should have been one movie they're making a second and it's a musical it's a, it's for money like yeah like that was the perfect standalone movie but if you think of it in a business aspect aspect the fact that it made more money they're they're gonna try again to get more money i i don't think it's i don't really think it's a problem that there's a second one i i think it's it's a cool concept to have like a joker kind of story like that and the whole universe and everything and i i don't think it's a bad thing that they're uh like extending it and keeping it keeping it going i mean yeah i don't know i i just remember when i heard about it i was like uh you know i i just like that it would have like i would have liked more that it feels just that own movie because i feel like it's it's more personally i feel like it's more impactful just yeah. like within the story but i mean hey like it's cool because uh who's playing harley quinn lady got Ga- lady gaga i think so yeah yeah and i've seen the set pictures like they yeah. it's like she's she looks good in the and like as her as harley quinn like very well makeup and uh costume design very well done uh obviously joaquin phoenix is going to be also in it obviously yeah. uh i don't know we'll we'll see how that goes but you know i i, I think that if they do try to continue Planet of the Apes and go the route that they did with the old movies and just keep going and keep going, that can be an issue because yeah. that always will go wrong. It, like in modern times, back then, like it was it was popping back then, but now, like there has never been a time where if you keep going and going, it's it, it'll do great because it, it just doesn't because you'll stray away hundred percent. You'll probably get more directors, like different directors along the way different writing different characters and it, it just becomes a mess after a certain point yeah it, it always runs stale after a while like yeah we, we've seen it before we get the concept there's been three movies already with great characters who are no longer there mm-hmm. it's just not worth it no i don't think so and, and it's just not the same like yeah. it's not the same without caesar it never will be. It never will be, hundred percent. Like Caesar was goaded. Like, yeah. like he he was scary too. That's, he's that monkey. Yeah, he's that monkey. You know what I mean? And you know that's the guy that plays uh it's a guy that played Claw in Black yeah. Panther. And like he was doing all the facial stuff in the movement. He he did very good. Yeah. Like I thought it was good. Like incredible. You know, and like round of applause and just I I also do like him as an actor. I forgot his name. It's like Andy something, right? Andy Circus. Yeah, Andy Circus. Yeah, he he's a very exceptional actor, and he yeah he does very good in his roles, and that was definitely one of his best roles, in my opinion. That's just kind of funny though that one of his best roles is as like an ape. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole concept of the movies is kind of funny, but it's they're really good movies. Yeah, no, hundred percent. They're very very good. Especially like the first one setting up like you know like the sickness thing like yeah. they got sick and then the second one going off that 10 12 years later i'm pretty sure and everybody's dead basically or just about everybody died um i i didn't understand that part when i was younger i i do like acknowledge that when i was younger i remember i watched the first part and i don't really know what she's talking about because i think i like zone out every time mm-hmm. but i watched it again when did i watch it again like a couple months ago and watching that I was like oh no way everybody died yeah just because this guy wanted to create intelligent monkeys you know I'm just wondering like what the what the pitch was like let's just let's have monkeys take <laughs> the earth well I mean but they I have mean they, they executed it well oh 100 percent it was it was dope like the first in the first one when Caesar was standing up to like that me monkey right yeah that was that was crazy yeah and then i also i i will say i do what i do remember about watching that movie for the first time is when caesar like spoke for the first time he was like no i was like i was like well what is that did this monkey just talk he yeah. just, that monkey just talked like i wasn't expecting that because i didn't know there was like movies before that i've seen like clips like recently i've seen like clips of the old ones it's, mm. it's so funny like I don't know. Like, I, I wonder what that pitch was like. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. what I, mean? <laughs> I don't. I, it's just, I don't know. 
I don't know how I feel about this one. I think it'll be okay. There's a lot of factors that need to be like considered that would make the movie good to mm. carry what the last three movies have set up and carried with themselves. They don't have that anymore, so they need they need something else to carry that movie for it to be seen as good. Yeah, they can't recreate Caesar. No. They can't just put a character in there who's like Caesar or whatever. I mean, oh, we've seen it before. Like I wouldn't like that. They're not Caesar. I feel like they do that in a lot of movies, too, mm -hmm. where they try and bring back old characters, kind of, mm -hmm. but it doesn't hit the same because it's just not them. It's not them. Yeah, it, and it. I feel like, now that you like kind of bring that up, I feel like somebody, there's going to be a character like that that's going to be like Caesar and then, then like whatever descendant would, would be like, yeah. oh, you remind me of like my great, 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 Times ten, grandfather Caesar, the like great leader of like no, yeah. that's, that's a cop out. That that's a genuine cop out. You're trying to appeal to. I would, I mean, I guess nostalgia, but even that, I would just say you're just trying to appeal to the people that really like the trilogy. Yeah, and then you start milking it. Nostalgia works a lot of the time, though. It works for me. It works, but it doesn't. It depends. So, like, No Way Home, that worked. Yeah, that, ten that out of ten. Definitely worked. Ten out of ten. But e, two examples: Jurassic, Jurassic Park, and uh, or Jurassic World, and I'm blank. Uh, Ghostbusters. Oh yeah. And in the newer Ghostbuster that's out, they bring back like some of the old cast. One of them had. Sadly passed away, so he wasn't in, obviously. But they brought back who, like, was coming back. And I didn't care for it. Even though I like the Ghostbuster movies, I really do like the older ones. I like the ones with the um, female leads. That one, mm -hmm. that one's actually, I feel like that one's overhated. I really like yeah, that one. Yeah, that, that was kind of funny. Yeah, it was It was pretty funny. And um, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. In the third Jurassic World, they bring back the people from Park. Yeah, they, and like it's just it's just a cash grab to nostalgia. It fell flat. Yeah, hundred percent. I didn't care for the movie. It's. I just hope they don't try anything with that because they can't bring anyone back. It's three hundred years later. Everybody, yeah. everybody's dead. I mean, never, never underestimate what they could do. They because they have one of the monkeys frozen. They could, bro. Like studios leap through like hoops to to do whatever they want they they can they can bring caesar back like they could say oh he's some immortal monkey because <laughs> because of the original thing that gave him the intelligence but we found caesar we found caesar dead on the ground we put him in sus car uh, like what is it like suspended cryo animation sleep. yeah cryo sleep yeah and now he's coming back and he's bad he's mad He's man, he doesn't know whatever. Oh my God, cop out, literal cop out. I, I just. Yeah. <sighs> they do it so much though. Yeah, it's, no, a can't, ton of studios. You do can't that. put it past them. No, you can't. They like, a lot of studios have done that. I, I can't think of like any specific examples now, but there are one hundred percent a lot of times where they do something like that, where they just want a cop out, yeah, to bring back what appealed to the other things. At that point, just, I don't even know. Just leave it be. That yeah. That's that's all I have to say. Just leave it be. Yeah, they definitely need to leave it be. But they won't. They won't. No. But we'll see, you know. Yeah. I'm obviously still going to check it out. I, th I think the movie, I think the movie could be cool. I think for what it's supposed to be, like, if it was okay, so what it's supposed what it's supposed to be, I feel like it could be like pretty decent. If it was a standalone, I think it could be pretty good. But it's not, and it, the fact that it's not, you know, it's not looking. It's not. It's good. They're gonna compare it, hundred percent. Fans will compare it to the other three, and it's not gonna yeah. be a good comparison. I'm sure it will not be. But you know, that's kind of just my thoughts. You got any final thoughts to get on on that? No, no. Uh, I think. I think that's good. Just yeah. leave it be. Yeah, just leave it be. Um, yeah, so that's kind of our first topic. The second topic we have to talk about is uh, Sony confirming that there would be two more yeah. Spider-Verse movies. I'm not sure if that... I don't... Let's assume 
So we assume that it does or doesn't include Beyond. Because we know about Beyond already. I would assume it doesn't. Okay. Because having assume, yeah. a random fourth movie after the two-part movie mm-hmm. would be kind of odd. Yeah. But, yeah, I'd assume it doesn't include Beyond. Okay. So, yeah. So let's just, let's just assume it doesn't include Beyond. And we can kind of talk about, like, just, like, the Spider-Verse as a whole. Yeah. Because, honestly, we don't know what to expect for the other two that they're gonna do like I, I didn't even know what to expect for a cross you know this is yeah they're very creative like they're they really just are to the point where you don't know what's gonna happen you know what i mean what do you think i think it would i heard the director say before that beyond was gonna be the last one so now hearing this right. is just kind of weird to hear mm. i feel like sony themselves is just trying to again extend it Mm -hmm. beyond what it should be and i think they should just leave it at three as much as i love the spider-verse movies like i love like they're my favorite movies right ever 10 out of 10. i think they should leave it to where we love the movies we want more but we should be left wanting more yeah we shouldn't be drained out of it before they end it right I think they should just leave it so they don't keep running it and running it and running it until it's done and no one wants to watch it anymore and people just don't like it. Yeah, no, I I, I agree. I, but I can say, though, they, they obviously have time to scrap it, scrap that idea, because I agree, you know, leave us wanting more. And I think that Beyond would be a great conclusion to the Spider-Verse, yeah. like Miles Morales' the Spider-Verse. I mean, if they want to do more, I genuinely believe they will do great with it at this point. Like, I have, uh, I'm certain that they would do great with it at this point because they, yeah. they're they doing pretty good with Spider-Verse. Like, Into the Spider-Verse, 10 out of 10, I still listen to the soundtrack every now and then. Yeah, me too. The Across, I genuinely, like, at least 9.5, if not 10. I mean, when Beyond comes out, it's going to be a 10. Oh, yeah. For sure. 100%. But just with half of it, I don't, I, I don't know where I could rate it. It's, I mean, it's really good. I don't know how I could rate it just being half a movie, though. Yeah, no, I agree. But it's, it's a lot to think about, like what would go into these movies. The beyond, I know, Prowler Miles is gonna like help out our Miles yeah. type thing, which I'm cool with. That'll be pretty cool seeing yeah. Prowler Miles, uh, and. My excitement, like my, obviously I'm excited for the movie as a whole. I always get excited for these movies, but my excitement, uh, like a lot of it lies within who is going to be shown, like what Spider-Man is going to be different Spider-Man. Because it's Spider-Verse, you know? Yeah. This, like, like Multiverse of Madness, terrible multiverse movie. Oh, yeah. I mean... Was it even really a no. multiverse movie? That's my point. It's it just not a had multiverse. A madness. couple characters, mm-hmm. and that was it. It's I expected a like a full madness. scale. Same. I guess that's that might be what Deadpool is gonna be, but but even then, that's it's. it's I mostly feel like X Men. Yeah, with and it, like that's my thing. Like that wasn't a multiverse of madness. This you could call this a multiverse of madness. Like Spider Verse, yeah. you can call that multiverse of madness. I mean, even though it's just Spider-Man, it's way more multiverse than... 100%. Multiverse of Madness. Right, and that's, like, my thing. And, like, I'm very excited to see who we get to see. Like, in in uh, Across, like, we're seeing we're seeing uh, Toby and Andrew with Uncle Ben. We're hearing uh, yeah. Doc Ock saying, Hello, Peter, new, like, from No Way Home. We're seeing uh, Spectacular Spider-Man? Spectacular. Yeah. Seeing Spectacular like Spider-Man. Yep, I saw Ultimate Spider-Man in the background. Yeah. PS4, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's so fun seeing these characters, especially, like, from us that know the comics and know these different characters. Yeah. And just seeing that is so cool. Obviously, they can't have, like, like Cosmic Spider-Man, Beyonder Spider-Man, because it's yeah. not, unless, like, unless they want to get Beyonder, you know, for the spot. You know, he's kind of going crazy right now. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Yeah. I doubt it. But that, that would be cool seeing Beyonder. I... I really want to see uh, Superior Spider-Man. That's my favorite Spider-Man. 
So, yeah. you know, that's what I like. It's the prediction of who you're going to see and the anticipation of, who, like, you know, like what they're going to be like. How long could they do that, though? It's like how many, how many Spider-Men are there that you could just keep adding to where it's not too much and you still like all the Spider-Men? See, the thing is that I would actually say uh, Sony for PlayStation kind of not necessarily prove they can do, but like they're adding different suits to like new yeah. suits that we've never seen before. And you cannot you can literally just throw in a random like a suit that can be made like how, like how they did for PlayStation games, like the Spider-Man games, throw in like yeah. a suit and just throw in a voice actor, you know? Like since there's no voice that is like represented by that character, like no specific voice. Um you know what I mean? Yeah. So th like you can make different Spider-Man like and just have them in the background uh cuz yeah, I know you can like can make infinite Spider-Man. Yeah, but I don't think it will get stale because if you allow it, it, my my thing is the fact that you know this is a multiverse movie so you have to expect there will be a lot of multi like especially with this there will be a lot of multiverse in it. Yeah. So it's to be expected that you're going to see a lot more, you're going to see different types and all these things, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean I like seeing the Spider-Man too, but at the end of the day, it's still about the story. Yeah, no, 100%. So you still have to make new stories that make sense mm -hmm. and that work. Yeah. And then you can add the Spider-Man. Yeah, 100%. So my concern is what stories could you continue to tell with Miles? Who knows? I mean, to be fair, though, like... Like I, this, this two part movie thing seems like the end. It does seem like the end. But I also will say if we didn't know about Across or Beyond coming out after we saw Into, we would think the exact same thing. Like, what else is there? Well, after Across, I feel like they, they're, they were just starting. And they could yeah, they make so many stories. Mm -hmm. I now I feel like with uh, what's the second one called? Beyond, across, uh, across beyond. No, it's into across in, beyond. Yeah, into across beyond. Okay, after into, uh, I felt like uh, they could make more stories. Like they were just starting, and then after across, it seems like then there's beyond and beyond is the end mm -hmm. but after beyond would you really want to continue seeing all these stories like what even could they do mm, i mean i'm not sure i would like beyond to be the end because they're setting it up to be like yeah like end game type i think they compared it they're like this is going to be like end game level yeah it's more so Wait, have we seen Iron Spider yet? I think so. I think he was in like the background or something. Was he? Okay, never mind. Man. I was just thinking about that. It kind of just popped up. I like I I I want Beyond to be the end. They still have a lot of time for it to be the end. They can obviously just scrap that idea. And mm -hmm. to be honest, I feel like they might, but in like the business aspect, they possibly won't because they're gonna make money regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's kind of just like. Mm, it's a, it's an iffy thing, iffy thing. Mm. They just can't let go of Spider Man. No, they just that's that's like their thing. Like even with the live action movies without Spider Man, they're just they're they're just keeping it going, and it mm -hmm. really doesn't need to. Mm -mm. So the the thing is that I can say is. This is a very 50-50 idea. 50, one side being they're very creative and they can do very well, right? And the other 50 is they're milking it. Yeah. Yeah. Does, I, he leave the, does he leave the door cracked open a little bit? 
I don't know. Yes, you did. I'm just making sure. Um, like I love these movies. Like mm -hmm. these, I love these movies. Right. But I know that at a certain point they just gotta end it. Yeah. And I think after Beyond they should just end it. I agree. One hundred percent. And I mean, we might not even see any movies after that if they decide to make more movies for mm -hmm. like 20 more years. Right. Because the animation takes so long. Yeah. It's a very unique animation style. They they really set a, this is like, they set a standard for like what animation can be. Like yeah. Ninja Turtles, like they. Ninja Turtles, they, I mean, they took it and they ran with it. Ninja they Turtles did. was good. I actually did not like it. I'm not going to lie. You didn't like it? No. Really? I like when they're like actual teenagers and not how they are in that well they were that was the whole thing of the movie was they're like actual teenagers okay i like when they're older because i just i just could not rock with it they, i, they I will say i like the banter between them because like i know uh he like seth rogan yeah yeah seth rogan gave them like freedom to like with their scripts yeah i do like that banter the banter was very good but the story in my opinion was just it was, it was eh. I think you're looking at it too much like a real Ninja Turtle movie. Like, yeah, yeah. They're not really like it was. It was good for what it was, but they're not really like the, the ninja fighters, turtles, the ninjas. Yeah. yeah, it just wasn't really for that. Mm -hmm. And I kind of saw that early on, so I was just like, I'll just take it for what it is or what it's supposed right. to be. Yeah, no, no, you're right. That that is like how I'm seeing it. But I also another plus was when. Because as some people know, like, Leo and Raph have a history of just always going at it with each yeah. other. Like, 100%. That is, like, their trope. Like, they always go at it. Uh, because there is two sides to the argument. But I like that Leo was, like, acknowledging Raph for who he was. Like, you know, like, he, he's a rageful dude, you know? Yeah. And it was just like, let your anger, you know, like that type of thing. I really do like that. But, you know, it, the animation was cool. Like seeing that for Ninja Turtles, yeah. that was a plus for me. It's just, you know, it was, it was an okay movie. But, yeah, I, I think Spider-Verse set that, set that standard. And I think a lot of other studios will be doing that because it, it's, it's a hit. I didn't I, think it I would be, but it was. I they don't overdo it. Oh, I, yeah, I don't think they will. But, you know, yeah. Yeah, studios will use it. Um, I will say... Speaking of like a spider movie, you know, as we were talking about before, Madam Web looks bad. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately it does. Don't got and, much else to say about that. And they got rid of the whole Spider Man aspect of the movie. Like I guess they were supposed to be saving like Uncle Ben or something or really? making sure that Peter Parker was born or something like that is what I heard. What? And then they completely scrapped it, so I have no idea where the movie is going, what it's about, and I don't really care. I don't either. I've seen some reviews. They all said it was bad. Like, every review that I've seen so far has I, been bad. I wouldn't it. understand how it could be good. <laughs> I don't either. And the thing is, Dakota Johnson is a very great actress. Yeah. Uh, Sydney Sweeney is a very, she's an upcoming actress. You know, uh, I don't know if she started with Euphoria, but that's what she's most known for. And she's been moving up and like getting into movies and things. She's in this yeah. wasted potential uh, of an actress because she's good. Like she's a very good actress. And I um, I don't know. It, it just seems like a waste. But, you know, do you have any like thoughts on like Spider-Verse or like Madam Web to get out before we move on? No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. Not at all. So, you know, that's our second topic. Uh, Spider-Verse and the dreaded. Madam Web. Yeah. So our third topic, our third and final topic, we have Invincible coming back March 14th, 16th, sometime in the 10s. Sometime in March. Yeah. It's, I haven't read the book, the comic at all, and I don't want to because I, I like watching the show and finding yeah. out what happens. I, I knew like some things that I knew, like I know some things that will happen or that already have happened, but what do you, did you like that show? You like that show, right? I love Invincible, which is why I am very angry that it's coming back in March. Yeah. No, Invincible When did, when did so it good. end? Like December? Yeah. No. Really? Was it December? Early December, late November. I think it was like early December or something. Why are we waiting? 
they said it's fully animated it's fully done mm-hmm. they're just waiting to release it for like hype or whatever yeah, building up anticipation why we want to see the show we uh, the book like i've seen how big the book is and how yeah. far in the show we've gotten compared to the book we barely scratched it right we've done like nothing we're like five pages in yeah that's crazy it's going to take 50 years <laughs> to complete this story <laughs> at the rate they're doing it because they're extending uh, the second season for like three months yeah and yeah they just shouldn't no i agree it's i also love the show amazon actually does exceedingly well with their shows yeah like 100 percent. surprisingly and yeah yeah for real like invincible the boys all these shows but invincible was i remember the first time i saw the trailer i was like eh, you know i don't really think i'm like crazy about this yeah but when i checked it out i'm so glad i did like when omni man yeah, me too called these called the seven to the to the base and like you see him like fly in trying to like punch i think the fish dude or whatever yeah. i'm like oh my god what's happening why is he doing it what, what's going on i was so confused so was that. i was seeing clips like evil superman takes down the justice league right and i was like why is j jonah jameson like a superhero <laughs> and why is he fighting the fake justice league right he and did I, very good he's a very good voice actor yeah it's i forget i forget that sometimes and his i don't performance it's is good it's literally just him yeah it is the mustache and everything. <laughs> it's it, it, the show was great like i really love yeah. that show i didn't think i would at first but i'm i'm all for it i really can't wait for them to come back i can't wait for them to get to certain parts of the book. Oh, man, great show. Yeah, I just wish it didn't take so long to get through it. Yeah, no, they are. But like, you gotta remember, like, how long were they gone for? Like a year or two? I think I remember uh, the first season coming out in like 2020 or 2021 or something. Yeah, I, I want to say 20 2021. I want to say because yeah. I, I was. We were. I was doing virtual freshman year, the whole year. So, but I remember coming home. On I think. Fridays. I think it was 2021. Yeah. I think it was like that back half of freshman year. Something like that. Year. Yeah. So, they were gone for a while, and that really set them back because of the fact that there was like a lawsuit going around. I'm pretty sure somebody didn't get enough credit. Mm. So, it it set us back badly you know yeah. that like a year or two that a year and a half two that's that's a lot of time and the fact that it's been that long and then they're still making us wait i understand it's for building up anticipation but that is not a good idea no nah. because they're, be they're honest, gonna lose it i kind of forgot what happened in the first half i watched it so long ago i mean i remember but i just thinking from like outside perspective people will just be like i don't care anymore yeah like i've already i've already waited a year and a half to uh they're just making me wait again just to build it to, like it's petty it's not petty but it, it's dumb it's dumb and in like four years when the third season comes out will anyone still care like that right because at that point we could just read the book mm-hmm. as big as it is i mean we could read it in four years right it's so. i don't know it's just kind of like this is like a shorter topic because we do have to wrap it up pretty soon so we can get in the files but you know that's you know just like quick thoughts about that you know you have any like kind of final thoughts about that no i just i don't want to be too pessimistic about everything it's just i love invincible so do i don't don't extend it yeah like that yeah it's just just i want to see it yeah but you know it's kind of just final thoughts but uh yeah so i appreciate you all for joining us for episode six or seven i forgot to be completely honest i think it's seven i don't remember anyways i appreciate you all for joining us and we are very excited to catch you guys for the next one and we'll see you later bye bye